What are you doing? Nothing. Simon called and studied physics at St. Thomas University. When Simon was a child, he thought that if he could run fast enough and maybe with a set of wings, he could leave the ground beneath his feet and fly into the clouds. He carried that same thought with him every time he crossed the finish line. Welcome to Physics Lab 302. I'm Professor Leary. I hope you had a wonderful break. Welcome back. Today we're going to start with... Excuse me. Sorry, I'm late. Um, I'm Kelly. My lab partner is... Um... Over here. That's me. Simon. Kelly. This class is an upper-level physics class which will prepare you for the rest of your life. I've just been studying for sociology. Stupid prereq class. It's driving me crazy. But how have you been? Oh, I've been fine. Hey, listen, your dad's been asking about you and he thought maybe you could come down this weekend and maybe on Saturday see your sister's volleyball game. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really overwhelmed with exams coming up and Simon's helping me study, but maybe next week? Okay, well, um, I'll be home for winter break. That is if he's not working Christmas and New Year's, too. Well, listen, Kelly, I, I, know, I know you'll make it over to see us uh, sometime, but even, uh, maybe even your dad could come see you before the end of the semester. Oh, hey, listen, I gotta go, dear. Hey, you know, keep your chin up. You know that we love you and you make us all very proud. And you're gonna do just fine. Okay. Well, I love you, Mom. Tell Dad I said hi. I will love you too. Bye. Bye. -bye. Good morning. Hey, are you coming to pick me up? Pick you up? To go where? Did you forget? You said you wanted to go with me this morning to pick up a birthday present for Megan. Shit. Yeah. Okay. I'll be there in a minute. Bye.
I tell you folks, this could end up being the coldest day on record this year. Very, very cold outside, so make sure you bundle up. Don't take any chances with anything. Bundle up a uh, good heavy coat. Get your hat, get your gloves, get your scarf, get your ear muscles. Hey, what's going on? Are you okay? Um, my mom just called. My dad. He. I've been trying to find time to visit my dad. But just five minutes from our house, he was hit by a truck or a car. I don't know. But the paramedic said there was nothing they could do. Sorry. I'm sorry, Simon. I can't do it. I can't do this. I can't do this us. I need to be with my family. No, I, that's okay. We'll take some time off. That's fine. I could have avoided this. I should have just gone and visited my dad. Wait, I'm sure you just need a little time to let it pass, okay? It's not... I'm sorry, Simon. I need to go. Kelly! Come on. Kelly! My dad, he was hit by a truck or a car. This could have been avoided. to see you here today. You okay? I'm fine. Why? Today we will begin by talking about Faraday's law of induction. Why the would she give the same lesson twice? The most version of Faraday's law states, the induced electromotive force in any closed circuit is equal to the negative of the time rate of change of the magnetic flux enclosed by the circuit. This version of Faraday's law strictly holds only when the closed circuit is a loop of infinitely thin wire and is totally invalid in the other circumstances. There is a different version of the maximum Faraday equation. Please excuse me, I'm gonna go check on him. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm 
fine. I just need some air. Do you need anything? Like Tom's or anything? No. Okay. This is a weird question, but um, when are you seeing your father again? That is a weird question. Um, I'll see him over winter break, but I might see him sooner. Why? It doesn't matter. Listen, I think I'm just gonna go home and try and sleep this one off. Okay, I'll let Dr. O'Leary know. I hope you get some rest. Thanks. Hey, Cal. Uh, you busy? Okay. Yep. Could you come over? I have something I need to talk to you about. I understand not believing me. If I were you, I wouldn't believe me either. I think you're nuts, dude. I was reading this article online about how too much running could be bad for your health. Maybe it was that. Maybe it got to your head. That still doesn't explain my notes. All of my notes from last week have vanished. That still doesn't prove anything. You have to say something very specific about the future. Well, we didn't hang out very much last week, man. Or this week. December 3rd. December 3rd will be the coldest day on record. I heard it on the radio on the way to get Kelly. I guess we'll have to wait until then to see if you're nuts or not. Until then, I still think that you should be in a straitjacket. So what are you going to do? If I were you, I would buy an almanac and place bets like on Back to the Future or something. I still don't even know how I traveled. You know? I think running might have had something to do with it. Don't be so full of yourself, man. You would have to run six times around the planet in a second to even reach light speed. And even then, everything around you would start to slow down and you'd go to the future, not the past. Unless I went through a wormhole, right? Like, it's still theoretical, but, but theoretically, there are waves in space-time and you could you punch through one or something. If you were chosen for this wormhole, then it must be fate. And it seems clear to me what you have to do. What? You have to prevent Kelly's father from getting in that accident. How would we do that? Whoa. We? No, I will not take part in your crazy delusions. I'm sorry, man. I gotta take off. I've got a class in the morning. Thanks for coming over and listening to my lunatic rant. <laughs> Good luck uh, trying to change the fate of destiny and all that. See you, Cal. See ya. I brought you some medicine. There's some Tums and Pepto-Bismol in there if you need it. How are you feeling? I'm alright. Feeling a little better. Thanks for the medicine. No problem. I just wanted to let you know that you mean a lot to me. And seeing you in pain like that earlier made me feel like... I don't know. I just... I'm glad that you're feeling better. And my parents told me to tell you hi. They said they're excited to meet you. Of course. <laughs> what? Uh, what, what do you think about going to see your parents? This weekend? I don't know. No, I, I was thinking like tomorrow. This is the week before finals. I know it. I think that it would help you distress and I know you've been wanting to see your dad again and I know your family would love to see you. I'm fine, really. I have so much stuff to catch up on we'll before next week. Bring it along. Uh, I can help you study along the way. I don't know. Please. I really need just a few days away. All right, fine. But you're driving. I'll like, get some sleep. Be sure to take your medicine. Doctor's orders. Good night. Good night.
Simon and Kelly spent the next day visiting Kelly's family. He hoped that by doing so, he could prevent the need for her father's surprise visit and thus his unfortunate fate. Kelly? No, man, it's Cal. I, you're right. I just heard on the news that today is going to be a record low. Shocker. So, did you take my advice? Did you alter events? Did you pick up a goddamn almanac? Yes, calm down. Yeah, I took, uh, I took Kelly to go see her dad so he wouldn't be inclined to a surprise visit. And, uh, no, I did not pick up an almanac. Suit yourself. Is she doing all right? No news, but I guess no news is better than bad news. It's 10:30, so I assume that she's probably okay. Well, you should give her a call. See how she's doing. Okay, that's a good idea. All right, man. I'll get off the phone. I'll talk to you soon. All right. See you. Bye. Bye. Hey. Simon, this is Kelly's father, Mike. Hi, Mike. It's good to hear from you so soon. This morning I received a call from the student affairs office. I was told she was discovered about an hour ago at her door. Simon, Kelly passed away. The paramedics believe she died from a brain hemorrhage. Must have slipped while she was in the shower and hit her head. The paramedics tried to revive her, but there was nothing to do. That can't, that can't be. I was just gonna go get her, she's fine.
In an effort to save Kelly, Simon must relive his previous week, being careful to leave things as they were. He must let fate take the wheel and carry the burden by allowing the death of Kelly's father. take any chances with anything. Bundle up a uh, good heavy coat, uh, get your hat, get your glove, get your scarf, get your earmuffs, whatever you need to stay warm because it is just dangerously cold outside. Uh, looking uh, further ahead now, tomorrow it's actually going to be uh, also just about as cold as very cold. Make sure you be very careful. Hey babe, I'm outside. Okay, I'll just be out in a minute. See you then. What if you gave her a hair dryer? That's a good idea. It's kind of like a backhanded gift, but she's always stealing mine. Yeah, that's pretty funny. What's your dad been up to? Actually, huh, speaking of which, hey dad, wait, how close are you? Oh, well, Simon and I were on our way to the mall to get Megan a birthday gift, but we can turn around. Yeah, okay, we can meet you back there. All right, love you, bye. I'll turn right around. It'll be good to see him again. Again? What do you mean? You've never met him. Take my wallet. Go. Of course I'm taking your wallet. I'm also taking your girl. Hey man, come on. Just take my wallet and leave. Hey asshole!
I'm okay. It's my fault. But it's alright now. How is it your fault? Everything in life must have a balance, even in death. As Newton discovered, for every action, there must be an equal and opposite reaction. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. A balance restored. Like the sun breeze in my eyes